up you guys? It's Momo and today I am going to be doing an unboxing. I have another Sailor Moon figure that I bought and I need to unbox but I bought these so long ago like like I bought these before lockdown happened like pretty damn long ago. So I'm gonna finally unbox this. I am so excited. This is my first, my very first as a magical girl lover and figure collector, this is my first Sailor Moon figure. I don't know why, like, I don't know why I never bought a Sailor Moon item. It just baffles me, especially because Sailor Moon is as repetitive and like overdone as it sounds. It is my favorite magical girl anime. We are going to go ahead and open this and unbox it. Before we get into unboxing this, first of all, I don't know how I started this video and then completely brushed off this figure standing right behind me. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram or just seen my recent videos, you know that that is Joker from, <laughs> let me show you, from Joker 2019. Um, yeah, he's just gonna sit there because he's kind of... He takes up a lot of space. So again, before I start unboxing this figure, I am going to leave links like I did in the description on my last video. I'm gonna leave links of ways you can help black owned businesses, sign petitions, and edu just educate yourself on black lives. I am also going to try to find links of ways you can help Yemen because they are currently in a crisis and I feel like that's not getting enough exposure that it needs to I feel like it's being looked over so I'm just going to leave links for that that I can try to find hopefully find as well and like I said in my last video if you have links for any of these um, with the Black Lives Matter movement or the crisis that's going on in Yemen and you have links that can help please please I encourage you and I ask of you to just put it in the description okay so this is the sweet version of the Sailor Moon figure. This is, I believe this was like limited edition, I don't know. And this box, okay let me just tell you, this box makes me so happy. Look how freaking adorable. I am in love with the whole like fruits, bakery, sweets, parfait aesthetic. I just, oh my god. And then you can see a preview of the figure here on the back. And from here, and from what I've heard from the reviews of this, what I can tell is the actual fruits that sit on the parfait cup of this figure, like right there, are so detailed. Are you kidding me? They look so good. Um, so yeah, so this is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, Sweeties, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, Usagi Tsukina, Tsukina? Usagi Tsukino fruit parlor version and I don't know if they're going to or if they have already have made one of the other Sailor Scouts I think I think if they do make more Sailor Scouts that would be so fantastic and so cute but if they don't they should at least make one of Chibi Moon just because she's very pink and it, it would match her so well but that's just my opinion okay so Let's get to unboxing this. That is so good. Okay, I couldn't tell if you can see it by the lighting, but this inside is just baby blue polka dots, but it's so adorable. Just these little, what would you call it? The little white design, and then there's like sparkles at the bottom. I just, I love that. It gives it a background. It makes it look 20 times more cuter and then I just need to take it out of this but as you can see it comes with the little parfait cup and it comes with cute little usagi with the fruits on the back and there's some whipped cream right there I don't know I think that's like all stuck to her so I'm gonna go ahead and open that uh, I have her all set up <laughs> and here she is uh, it's really easy it's just three parts it's just again the cup Usagi um, and the spoon. I will say that the spoon is really bendable and she's kind of pinching her fingers so you have to put the spoon 
like right in between where her two her finger and her thumb go and it's just kind of difficult because the spoon is bendable and over time like it does come out easily and over time when you're dusting the figures I feel like if you dust her hand it'll keep falling off and it'll loosen the grip of her finger and her thumb onto the spoon if that makes any sense I just I can't speak I don't know um yeah let me just show you first of all she is just so gorgeous her outfit just everything about her I love I mean where can you go wrong this is just extremely beautiful when you set her up though I didn't notice this at first but when you set her up if you look at the whipped cream I'm not sure if you can actually tell it's a little curved so it's kind of going like that the cup is has a curved design too so you want to make sure you line it up so if you can see that yeah you'll know when you have her sitting right again the spoon kind of slid down do you want to say that I absolutely love the curls on her Maybe if I hold it like that but I don't know if you can tell it starts off very yellow and then it turns into this kind of trans almost transparent uh, clear color it's still a little yellow even at the ends I don't hate it but I feel like I don't know I feel like it makes it look a little cheaper or like Baker, I don't know but I will say that it does match the entire theme so overall it looks very beautiful and as it kind of goes down transcends down um, it matches the cup so it's not really that big of a deal I'm not like oh my god I hate it I absolutely hate it I understand it and I'm actually glad that they didn't make it completely transparent completely clear there's that also really quick about her cup about the little parfait cup I don't know if this was done on purpose or not but the cup shape reminds me of her crystal I forgot what it was called but it's basically the little flower crystal in the series or like it could hold it in a way and also if you look at the neck of this there's a heart and I don't know how I missed that but I missed it and now <laughs> I'm really kind of obsessing over that small little detail I don't know why um, I love heart shaped things and then on top of that on her spoon the very top of it is a moon shape a crescent moon shape to match with her theme while she's holding the whipped cream and I absolutely adore her outfit I adore everything about the whole fruit parlor aesthetic bakery thing her apron it's just everything is just so perfect the detailing in her hair for such a small figure is absolutely adorable I love the details on the fruit um, you will see that better when I do the pan in and out but just looking at it like that even like the strawberry lines um, they are, oh yeah, they do have like a texture to them. Everything about this figure is just so adorable. My only complaint is, again, the spoon, but I feel like there's only so much you can do with that. So yeah, that's Usagi in all her glory. I really love this. Um, I will do like a pan up and down close up so you can see her much better uh, and just see how adorable she is. As far as the paintwork, I don't, I don't have any complaints I'm not like that picky on paintwork um, unless it's like very noticeable god I can't tell you guys how much I love this and how long I've been wanting this figure and I'm just so happy that you can come along with me and unbox her and set her up honestly I didn't show me like assembling her because literally you just sit her on the actual cup <laughs> And that's about it other than the spoon and the spoon did take me a while so I just didn't add that in just because you have to like 
perfectly align it between her finger and her thumb. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, and yeah, bye guys.